Welcome to our lecture online and now we're finally ready to take the derivative of the hyperbolic cosecant of h so we'll use the same technique as we used for the hyperbolic secant notice the hyperbolic cosecant of h is equal to the inverse of the hyperbolic sine so it comes down to taking the derivative of 2 divided by e to the x minus e to the minus x again here we're going to first factor out the 2 so this becomes 2 times the derivative of 1 over e to the x minus e to the minus x and then again we're going to use the quotient rule for that so this becomes equal to 2 times the denominator which is e to the x minus e to the minus x times the derivative of the numerator which is 0 minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator which is e to the x and when we take the derivative e to the minus x we get an extra minus sign which turns this into a positive e to the minus x all divided by the denominator squared e to the x minus e to the minus x quantity squared so then you can see here that this portion here goes to zero we can take this negative sign and put it in front and so this can be written as negative one times now notice I'm going to take the two here and let's see let's see yes I'm going to write this as follows so we can write e to the x plus e to the minus x divided by one of these which is e to the x minus e to the minus x and then I'll use the 2 and divide it by e to the x minus e to the minus x notice I use this divided by one of those over here and then 1 divided by this times the 2 here and then it'll look like that now notice carefully that this is here basically the cosine over the sine so this is actually the hyperbolic cotangent and this is the inverse of the hyperbolic sine so this becomes the hyperbolic cosecant and with the negative sign this becomes minus the hyperbolic cotangent not the tangent here but this will be the hyperbolic cotangent of x and this becomes the hyperbolic cosecant of x and so when we take the derivative of the hyperbolic cosecant of x the d dx of the hyperbolic cosecant of x I get the negative hyperbolic cotangent of x times the hyperbolic cosecant of x so there's the last of our derivatives of the six hyperbolic functions and that's how it's done